Hello, RPG Don here. Today, we're going to discuss how to use switches to make certain events happen in certain orders. For this tutorial, I will make a sign down here on this block, which will need to be read first before the event on this pillar will activate. Then the event on this pillar needs to be completed before the event on the right pillar will be activated. Then finally, this right pillar needs to be activated before the door will open. We will also make it so that different messages appear once each event has already been completed. Once you have your map, the first thing you will need to do is make three different switches. I will go ahead and double click on the first location in the event mode. Double click your black diamond, go to control switches on the first tab, and click the drop box next to single. Here we will make our three different switches. Click number one and name it sign red. Then apply. Number two, pillar one touched. Apply. And number three, pillar two touched. Apply. Once those three are done, we can cancel, cancel, then start on this event. Under priority, we will go to same as character and the trigger will be the action button. We will click our black diamond, show text, and then add in the dialogue we want. Once this is done, click OK. We will click our black diamond under the text, tab 1, control switches, and in the drop box next to single, make sure it says sign red and on. Click OK. This will let the game know that you've already read your sign. Click apply and OK. Now we can start on our second event, on the first pillar. Double click the base of the pillar, priority same as character and action button. No image required, but for any of these images you can put an image if you want. To start our event, we will click the black diamond and go on tab 1 to conditional branch. On tab 1 on switch, choose sign red is on. Also click the box create else branch. Click OK when you're ready. This will tell the game to do certain things if the sign is on. The else tells it what to do if the sign is not on. We will click the black diamond under if and write text. I will type press pillar, then OK. Now the black diamond under our text and choose show choices under tab 1. We can leave yes and no and click OK. Under yes, since we want a battle to happen, we will click that black diamond, go to tab 3, battle processing, choose the enemy we want, and decide if we want them to be able to escape or lose. I will click can lose for this tutorial. OK. We will now click the black diamond under if win, and input text we want. Once you have your text, click the black diamond under it. Back to tab 1 and click control switches. Click the drop box next to single and choose pillar 1 touched. Make sure it's operation on and click OK. This will let the game know that pillar 1 has been touched. Now under if lose, I will choose tab 3 and game over. So that this message doesn't repeat every time we click it after we've touched this pillar, we will click the black diamond under pillar has been touched. Tab 1, control self switch. Self switch A, operation on and OK. Then we will click a new event page. And under tab 2, we will click the self switch button, make sure it's on A, then we will click our black diamond. We will tab 1 and show text, and give whatever type of text you want to show the player that the event here has already been done. Click OK. Once this is done, we will go back to tab 1 and fill out the rest of our chart. Under if lose, I will click the black diamond, tab 3, and game over. When no, we will leave it blank, because if they choose not to press the pillar, nothing will happen. Under else, we will tell the game what to do if the player has not yet read the first sign. We will double click the black diamond under else, tab 1, show text, and type in whatever text you want to let them know that they haven't read the sign yet. Once all this is done, and both of your tabs under priority say same as character, we will click apply and OK. 
Now, you can copy the first event, right click and copy, and paste it over your second pillar. We will need to make a few changes to this event, so we will double click it and make our changes. The first change we will make is if sign read is on. We will right click that, edit, and change the switch under tab 1 to if pillar 1 touched. The next thing we will change is our control switch under our we1 text. We will right click it, edit it, and change pillar 1 touched to pillar 2 touched. Make sure operation on and click OK. Once you're done here, apply and OK. I will now make a door that will open once both of these pillars have been completed. Double click my door, change priority to same as character, action button player touch, give it an image. I will use the blue portal under door 2. And under conditions, click switch and change this switch to pillar 2 touched. This will let the game know that this event won't even be here unless the second pillar has been touched. I will click the diamond, tab 2, transfer player, and change it to my new map. Click on the map where I want, click OK, OK, and apply. We will make two final edits. First, we will go back to our second event, change the text under if when to we won, and let your player know that the door has been opened. Apply and OK. Lastly, we will go back to our original sign and give this event a new event page. Under our second tab, we will choose Switch under Conditions and Pillar 2 Touched. Our priority will be Same as Character and the Triggered Action button. We will click our first black diamond, do a text, and let our player know that there's nothing left to do in this room. Apply and OK. We are now ready to test our game. Always make sure to save your changes before testing. If we touch our pillars, we are told that we can't do anything yet. If we go to the door, there's no portal and nothing happens when we click enter. Going to our sign, we see our text, and the first pillar should be activated. Still, nothing when we hit the second pillar, and no door on the north. Touching our first pillar gives us choices if no, nothing happens, and if yes, we battle. Upon winning, we see our text, and if we touch it again, we get the message that we already touched it. The sign still has the original message, no door in the north, and now we can activate the second pillar. Upon completing, we see our new text, the portal appears, the pillars tell us they've already been touched, and the original sign tells us there's nothing left to do here. Now we can go through our portal, and our events are complete. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to show your support. If you have any ideas of what I should make a tutorial about, please leave a comment about it. See you on the next video.